Hey, YouTubers. Okay, uh, yeah, I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video. So, apologies for that. I've just been dealing, dealing with a lot of stuff. Whole, whole bunch of stuff. Might explain all that later on in another video. But in the meantime, I have replicated this device created, supposedly invented by Veljko Mikulvic. And it's called uh, the two-stage mechanical osculator uh, pendulum lever energy system. Uh, so I'm having to use my phone camera here. So uh, if the audio is crap, well, sorry about that. It's kind of hard to walk around with a lapel microphone with a, you know, that has wires on it. It's it's unbelievable how you can't find a a simple little lapel microphone, you know, that you stick on your shirt and walk around wire, wirelessly or Bluetooth or whatever. You can't find them hardly. Well, why? Why is that? It's 2020. It's the freaking future. And we don't even have microphones that are wireless. Okay, anyways. So the way this system works is we got the pendulum right here and uh, I had to rebuild it a little bit I, I had the wheel right here too far up and I had like what 40 pounds or something like that I had two more of these and they could barely even lift 12 pounds which is two of these so I, I redid it all and moved this back see this was the last one right here and that's the fulcrum and I have the rim right there it's just too close and it performed like crap so I moved it back thinking in terms of more like a wheelbarrow you know you can get the wheelbarrow has a longer like handle on it so you can get more leverage and pull more weight so now I'm pulling about 18 pounds which is a whole lot better than just 12 so I got three of them and it does it very well and it appears that it's doing more work here on the output off the lever than the input input pushes on the pendulum so when I'm pushing this thing I can use my pinky and push this thing now I, I don't know why this hasn't made any more headlines I I don't get why I, I guess it's because people don't understand exactly what they're looking at I know when I first seen this I didn't know what I was looking at I couldn't figure out it looks stupid to me but now that I built it when I understood what I was looking at I go well you know what this is worth building so I'm gonna build it and I also had to put these in I didn't have these in before and it's because this whole thing well, I guess you can call it the stabilizer. It's what's holding the fulcrum of the uh, lever up because it was swinging, and that's no good. This this should not the fulcrum should not be swinging or moving. So I had to add this thing, and this thing was so hard to build. I'm telling you, and to line all this up. But uh, and then I had to put one on this side as well to keep it from moving so that's what that looks like and I used uh, some red red bone bearings for skateboards they work really great they're world-class bearings so I used the bearings for the fulcrum of the lever now the way this thing's supposed to work is the pendulum all in itself you know it, if you you can lift a hundred pounds up against gravity and it'll do practically the same amount of work on the other side several times you add all that up obviously you've gotten more work than what you put into it but the thing is is it's trapped inside the the osculator the pendulum you can't extract it so that's what the lever does the lever extracts the energy because it's 
90 degrees out of phase and that's how it's able to do that now like i said i i don't know why nobody really looks at this and it, it makes sense uh so so the idea is what happens is so the pendulum swings it takes a very small amount of power to keep the energy up i mean at first it takes a lot of energy of course but once it's swinging and it's storing the energy you can put a tiny little bit of power into it and get some power out of it and work so i got it on this cable system here i kind of threw this together i had some problems with this too first i had a rod and it was tilting this whole thing and it was kind of messed up but i think i fixed it the cable system there and it's holding that weight so let's give this a little push and see what happens and this thing can be powerful it will rattle this entire roof of this shop uh, I've already busted the lights um, I had to replace the lights because it shook the lights off so I wrapped these uh, tie wraps around it around the tubes and here's the old tubes right here I think I got a broken one somewhere to show that they did indeed get shaken off from the uh, right here from the fixture it shattered it it was everywhere it shattered and it was dark and yeah so okay so let's give this a little push so once we start you can see we can see this going we'll get it going and and another thing about this thing is so hard to take measurements you can't really readily take measurements on this but once we get it going there we go you can see that so it is lifting let's see if we can get like a side view here real fast you can see it has like a hammer effect and as you can see i've stepped away from it and it continues to lift 18 pounds by itself there for a little while and it only takes a little bit right there you can see that it's lifting it at least a few inches maybe two inches it don't seem like a lot and so the only measurement that I know, look at this, I can use my pinky, the back of my pinky even, and maybe like push it, maybe a pound or so with my pinky over about a distance of about an inch. Let's do it this way. There, I'm using my pinky. There's no way I can lift 18 pounds with just my pinky. I'm doing it for about an inch or so, maybe two two inch pushes and so from what I know and you know I'm not a really huge big belief well this is because I don't understand some math and physics but what I do know is that force times distance is equal to work so the distance is about maybe an inch or so with my pinky and I can't be putting more than a pound, a pound and a half, maybe two pounds into this on each cycle. Meanwhile, I can lift 18 pounds over that same one inch. And it's still doing it. So, to me, putting... You know, we're getting about the same distance and lift as we are with the pushes on the pendulum with way more weight. And it only feels like about a pound, maybe. At most, two pounds going into it. As you can see, you know, I'll do another video with a little bit of a better measurement. And like I said, it's hard to do measurements, but as you can see... I'm putting like maybe a pound into that and lifting 18 pounds over the same distance. So just do the math on that right quick. You got about a pound uh, at about one to two inches, yet I'm lifting 18 pounds over one to two inches. So work is equal to, you know, force times distance. And then the force times distance over here. So let's say the force was 1 times 
one inch, let's just say that's equal to one. And then over here it would be 18 times a force of 18 times one inch, let's say, of distance that's 18. So one to 18. Well, what is that, like 1800%? Right out of the box. So I'll do this a couple more times so you can see. Look how high it's lifting it right there. It's, it's lifting 18 pounds up and down and it does it twice per cycle i'm barely pushing it so to me this is and as you can see it'll shake that it'll shake the lights but uh and it's still lifting it after i've already walked away so you tell me should i continue on with this because I just don't know why this hasn't made more headlines. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't see it anywhere. You, you, you know, <laughs> you can go to overunity.com, find about 800 pages. I could always go to the very end of the forum threads to find out where it's gone, what the conclusion was. I think there was like five pages of nothing but links on the applications and uses of this thing. So it's very practical to lift weight or the pump water or oil or whatever so i you know it appears to be putting out more work and energy than what we're putting into it but hey you know i may be wrong so leave a comment and tell me what you think about that because the more mines that are on this thing, I think the better. This is a great concept. It's totally wonderful. It's awesome, I think. It took a while to build this, but I finally got it done. But I'm glad I did it so I could see for myself. And it makes sense. <laughs>